back. It has been such a long time between videos and I really can't apologize enough. I have been dying to do this for you, um, you know, to upload them and to send them. But unfortunately, it was out of my control and I've had to take a little bit of time off. Now, if you know me or if you follow me in any kind of, you know, social media, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the rest, you would know I'm pregnant and um, which is so exciting. I'm so happy. We're absolutely thrilled. Um, it's just been the most incredible journey so far. But um, with that pregnancy came the most horrendous morning sickness. And um, yet before I continue with all of that, I just want to say you don't have to sit and watch this video. It's not makeup related. I don't know it's on this channel, but I just wanted to explain. So feel free just to turn it off. But if you are interested and you want to hear what's been happening, um, yeah, definitely stay on and I'll let you know. So I'm just over 17 weeks, things like 17 weeks and four days uh, pregnant. And um, it has been a great, great time. It's been really exciting. Um, we're absolutely thrilled to, you know, have this little special person um, growing in me and about to, you know, be born, um, which I'm due in April. But with it came the most shocking morning sickness I could ever, ever imagine. Now, I'm one of those people that I was always interested in it. I was never in a hurry to fall pregnant. I was never like really desperate or, you know, not at that stage, but I used to love listening to people's stories. And um, one thing I'd always ask was about morning sickness. And although some people would say, yeah, I had morning sickness, it was bad, it was yuck and all the rest. Um, you know, I even had someone, the poor thing now when I think of it, would was vomiting all the time throughout the whole pregnancy and had to take, you know, medication to stop that. Um, you, you really, it's hard to understand how severe or how bad it is until you go through it. So, like I said, yeah, I, I would ask people, but it was such a shock how debilitating it became. I, I'm probably from about week five and a half to now, um, it's been just 24 hours a day, nauseous, um, it, it, no energy it's depressing it's not like the movies or all those lucky people out there who don't get it and they're so um, beautiful and glowing and radiant and everything like that. I look like death I looked absolutely shocking um, and I didn't feel beautiful or glamorous or even excited in, in many many ways because I did feel so sick and I think the severity of it was really bad, but even so, it's going through it for, you know, 15, whatever, however long your goes for weeks. It's basically torture when you kind of have to go through a pain or you have to go through that kind of sickness for a long period of time. It's even that how bad it may have been, it's worse. It's worse because it's happening all the time. So... It, that part of it definitely has not been fun for me. I haven't enjoyed it. I, it's the honest truth. I have not enjoyed one single bit of it. Um, so, it, you know, as exciting as it is, you may experience. Everyone's different. Everyone has their own, you know, experience with it. So, don't go by me. There's a lot, lot worse than me. So, I, I you know, have a lot to be grateful for. But there's also some that have nothing, which I absolutely hate you for that. Um, no, you're very, very lucky if you do get nothing because um, yeah, you don't have to put up with it. Uh, foods, I kind of have no appetite at all. I'm generally, I love food. I love eating food. I love going out for food. I love cooking. I love all of that, um, but I have had no appetite. I just, although I have had no appetite, I have to eat all the time like constantly hourly I need to have put something in my mouth because if not I get really really sick or I just feel awful so I am constantly eating um, surprisingly even though I'm eating so so much I 
haven't really put on uh, too much weight, which isn't a concern for me. I don't care about that at that point, especially when you feel sick. You do not care at all. But um, I think I've probably so far done about three and a half kilos um, in 17, over 17 weeks. So I don't know what that is, if how average that is. They say, you know, 11 to 13 kilos, depending on how big you were previously and stuff like that. But in all honesty, don't even think about um, how much you put on or anything like that. It's just, if you're sick, you're not even going to care anyway. But um, yeah, things like that. It, it, I'm just surprised for the amount of food that I've eaten that I haven't put on a lot more. Um, yeah, but I haven't craved anything. I'm not a sweet tooth and I've actually been quite turned off sweets. Um, junk food, haven't had cravings for anything like that. Uh, just food, whatever I could eat at that time, like, you know, toast. I'm like the world's expert at crackers now, like dry food and stuff like that. I can tell you all about them. Um, so, yeah, that, yuck. Food's just been not the best at all. Um, and then smells. Oh, I had a real reaction with some smells. Anything perfumed, floral, um, soap. Uh, washing detergent, uh, fabric softener, anything of the sort, even makeup, you know, makeup when you get the um, a scented kind of foundation or lipstick or anything like that would drive me crazy. Um, even a cleanser, shampoo, conditioner, anything like that was absolutely horrendous. Even now I can't smell it. I've had to put all my beautiful candles away. Um, can't spray perfume on. I'm just really, really careful with stuff like that because it really irritates me. Um, and dog, my dog Barney, I can't smell him. Look at him even. Even the look, when I look at him, I feel sick. I know that's so horrible because I love him to death, but can't go near him unless I'm out, like kind of out in the open air. Then I can give him a pat and everything like that, but nothing like that. Teddy surprisingly doesn't bother me. I'm not sure why, but Teddy, I don't really get a smell from him, but Barney, I do. But they're probably like the worst of the smells. Food smells I'm kind of fine with, which I know a lot of women find food bothers them. Um, but that's really it as far as smells go. Uh, exercise, again, I just did not even want to think about it. Could not. Could not even do any kind of exercise. The only thing I would do is take the dogs in our, we've got like a park, a big dog park um, at our backyard, behind our back out, backyard. And I'd take them there for a like quick walk around. And that's probably like the only thing I've done and not much of that either. I have since, st I do Pilates and I've been doing Pilates years before. Um, and I stopped it at my worst time, so for about eight, nine weeks, I didn't do anything. Started that again. Um, I've been to the pools just to kind of walk through the water. Um, uh, what else have I been up to? Started seeing a chiropractor for my shoulder and my neck and everything because that was getting quite bad and headaches. Um, that's really exercise. I, mean, I wanted to start my yoga again and also preggy bellies. Which I've heard from, you know, I've had people just rave on about that. So I do want to start that as well. So although, you know, I may have painted the worst picture possible, it really is exciting and we are really, really happy to, you know, have this baby growing. I mean, I've done the tests and your 12 week scan is incredible. There's no words to describe seeing your little baby on, you know, fully kind of developed, even though it's probably that big. You know, you can see its head, you can see its hands and its feet and everything like that. So that's really, really exciting. I've got my 19th week, um, which is a morphology uh, scan, and that's in two weeks. So that's going to be another really exciting thing. But each stage is also quite scary because you don't know what to expect and you don't know what the turnout's going to be. So throughout the whole thing, you kind of... As happy as you are, you're worried as well. So it is a really exciting... Actually, you know what? I will show you my belly because I have popped out. I actually popped out quite quick and I was getting a lot of people asking if I was having twins or if... Um, oh, or they would just say, you know, I was that big when I was six weeks... I mean, six months. So, 
you know, not the best thing when you're feeling really sick and horrible and then you get told all these things. So I was a bit worried thinking, you know, I'm, I'm carrying like a beast or something, but I'll show you my stomach. So this is my 17 week tummy. As you can see, it's kind of right out there. And you know what? It's probably more because the size of me in general that makes me look really huge. That way, oh, I've got a bit of a hole there. That way you can't really tell how big it is, but it's quite big. And then you've got that. So I feel huge and it's only going to get bigger. I'm only halfway. So lots to look forward to. But anyway, now what I wanted to say also was I originally was going to start a separate channel and it was all going to be on pregnancy week by week. Um, different stages, what to expect, what I'm going through, what you possibly can, love any information that you may have, products that I've found, skincare for pregnant you know, women, makeup for pregnant women, anything like that. So I was going to start another channel and I did my very first video probably at about five weeks, which is quite laughable now when I look at it because I could see that I had so many expectation I was completely delusional had no idea what to expect um, and I should play it because it's quite funny but I was going to start a whole new channel so if you do want me to do that and you know post things on there or videos on there that you may be interested in and you know it's something you want to see let me know so you know give this a thumbs up or like, like it or um, comment below just say yep yeah, please start another channel would love to hear just because I don't want to bombard this channel with all pregnancy stuff because a lot of people just don't care about it and I can completely understand but I'll be happy to do it on another one um, in all honesty if I was to show you week six to now you would have just seen my bed and my couch because that's the only place I've been so you really haven't missed out on much up until then I'm happy to answer any questions or any you know, queries or anything like that I'm not a doctor I'm not a nutritionist I'm a dietitian Nothing like that. It's just my experience and what I've gone through. Let me know and um, I'll be happy, happy to do that. So that's it. I hope you are all well. Um, thanks for watching and thank you for being part of this. And I will, the next video obviously is going to be a makeup video. So you'll see me then. And like I said, if you want me to continue doing these videos weekly um, on like pregnancy and stuff like that, let me know and I will. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.